uh, we are going to explain the chapter uh, line by line. So when I leave, Sophie said, coming home from school, I am going to have a boutique. Jancy, linking arms with her long the street, along the street, looked doubtful. Takes money, so something like that. I'll find it, Sophie said, steering far down the street. Take you long time to save that much. Well, I will be a manager then. Yes, of course. To begin with, I will have got uh, enough. But anyway, I know just how it is all going to look. They won't. They wouldn't make you manage the street off so. I will be like Mary Quant. So they say it. I will be natural. They will see it from the start. I will have the most amazing shop this city ever seen. So in the first issue line, so the story begins with a conversation between two teenage girls, Sophie and Jancy. Sophie lives in a wood, a uh, world of imagination, whereas Jancy is totally opposite to her. Sophie may imagines of owning a boutique one day, a place where she can sell fashionable clothes. Jancy feels that it is requires a lot of money to open up a boutique. She also tells her that. Will take her long time to save that much amount. This is uh, to this topic replies that she will work as a manager, and when she will save enough money, then will work and opening up a boutique. She is interrupted by Jancy as she tells her that nobody will hire you straight up to the managerial post. So she changes her plan and decides to be a fashion fashion designer, a fashion icon like Mary Quant. She also adds that she will have the best boutique shop that no one has ever seen in the city. Jancy, knowing they are both amongst the biscuit factory, become melancholy. She wished Sophie wouldn't say this thing. So, ये जो conversation few lines है हमें क्या मिला कि Sophie और Jancy school going girl है और उन लोग school से जाने के time जो जे Sophie जो adolescent fantasy thing उनके मन में थे तो उसने कहा कि मैं एक बोटी खोलूंगा तो उसके बाद जेंसी ने क्या बोला कि बोटी खोलने के लिए बहुत सारा पैसा चाहिए तो सोफी ने क्या बोला उस टाइम कि हाँ आई एल बी मैनेजर देन मैं मैनेजर बन जाऊंगा फिर सोफी ने क्या जेंसी ने बोली क्या कि मैनेजर इतना आसानी से कोई आपको बना नहीं बनाएगा नहीं उसने कहा आई एल बी अ फैशन डिजाइनर देन तो मैं फैशन डिजाइनर बनूंगा मैं बहुत पैसा कमाऊंगा उसके बाद इस सिटी का सबसे जबरदस्त दुकान में बोटिंग में खुलने वाला हूँ ओके सो एक्सप्लेनेशन आर देयर फॉर योर बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग यू कैन रीड द एक्सप्लेनेशन पार्ट जेंसी नोइंग दे वेर बोथ एमआउट फॉर द बिस्किट फैक्ट्री बिकम मेलंकोली शी वी सॉफी उनसे दिस थिंग्स व्हेन दे रीच सॉफी स्ट्रीट जेंसी से इट ओनली अ फ्यू मंथ एवे नाउ सो यू रियली शुड बी सेंसिबल दे डोंट पे Well, for shop work, you know that your dad would never allow it. Or an actress. Now there is real money in it. Yes, and I could maybe have the maybe have the boutique on the side. Actors don't work full time, do they? Anyway, that or a fashion designer. You know something a bit sophisticated. And she turned in through the open street door, leaving Jensen standing in the rain. If I ever come into money, I will buy a boutique. Who? You, if you ever come into money, if you ever come into money, you will buy us a blessed, decent house to live in. Thank you very much. So, my dear friends, she said in the conversation, we would like, ah, uh, we can say, Jancy is a realistic person, isn't it? She is totally real. She knows that the reality they are just workers at a biscuit factory. On hearing Sophie's thoughts, she becomes sad. When they reach Sophie Street, Jancy tries to explain the reality of their life. She tells her that they don't receive much at the factory they where, uh, where they work. She also tells her that her dad would not allow her to leave the job. Sophie, on the other hand, she is lost in her dreams. She says that she can also be an actress, or it would earn her a lot of money. She also wants to run a side business. Of boutique, as she thinks that actors don't work full time. When they reach home, Sophie enters into her house and turns the door. Jancy is left alone in the rain. Sophie, Sophie is still murmuring 
the same sentence that she will get money she will buy a boutique someone in the house te teaches her that if she has above money she would buy a good house for her family so my dear friend few uh, words been difficult words are there you can see here amorous means set aside melancholy means of sad okay sophie's father was uh, scooping support pie into his mouth as hard as she could go his thumb is still green and sweat mark from the day she thinks money grows on the trees doesn't she dad said little direct hanging on the back of his father's chair their mother sighed sophie to watch her back stop over that the sink and wondered at the incongruity of the delicate bow which fastened in her apron string the delicate seeming sink bow and the cock back the evening had already blacked into the windows and the small room was steamy from the stove and cluttered with the heavy bracing man in his dress in the table and the dirty washing piled up in the corner sophie felt a tightening in her throat she went to look her brother's job so in uh, for this uh, line we can say sophie's father was eating a shepherd pie his face was unclean with dirty and sweat her younger brother direct said to his father that sophie thought that money grew on trees okay he also felt that she was not real sick her mother was Uh, who was busy with her walk took a deep breath sophie noticed her walking in the kitchen her mother had stopping shoulders that were bent forward she had tied an apron on her back which was bent and not in the right shape maybe she looked so because of the heavy burden of work on her it was turning dark in the house was full of steam and kitchen was messed up with the later okay so he felt uncomfortable so he went out to her brother jio so this is the picture regarding that uh, in that in the kitchen father was you know he was tired sweating at that moment and father she was walking and it was a late evening is it okay few words are there again he can see here for your better understanding explanation part is also there okay thank you very much this is the end of the first part thank you